Morning crew and welcome to the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel and Sam has rocked in to give me a hand again. Now Sam, we're going to have to talk about your tardiness. Uh, if you'd come a little bit earlier I'd have made you some breakfast but... I don't really mm -hmm. eat in the morning anyway. No. Or at all. <laughs> at all, that's terrible. You know you need to eat girl, it doesn't work. Okay, so on this very short video, which it probably won't be, uh, Sam is going to show us how to use uh, locking wire on handlebar grips. Remember on the last video she showed us how to fit the bar grips to the handlebars, the rubber grips, and uh, on this one she's going to show us how to use the actual locking wire. And that's, that's this stuff here. You can buy it. It's pretty cheap. What was that? That was $4.95 and you get enough there to do probably a few bikes. But you're going to need some special tools. So, Sam, you get to play with a special tool. Do you want to look at it? Pull it out of the box and have a look, and then we'll talk about it. Um, wiring grips onto handlebars is actually more done with the dirt bike fraternity, because when you're riding off-road, you're actually gripping onto the handlebars really, really tight um, in some cases. Pulling wheelies, that kind of stuff. Um, whereas on the road, you tend not to grip the bars quite so much with your hands extremely shiny. It's, it's actually brand new. The reason why it's brand new is I couldn't find my original one from England. It's probably under the house somewhere and in all honesty I gave up looking, looking for it with Marmite. So here we have a brand new tool for the workshop. So Sam, what do you reckon? I have no idea how it works but I see that it clips, I guess. It's actually really cool. Um, it's, it's a bit like a pair of pliers. So you've got a, show the camera look, you've got a little, little sort of slidey thing back here where you can release the pliers. There we are, look, you see, like that. So the little slot, chrome bit there slides forwards and backwards, and that's a locking device, and that'll become apparent a bit later on. Uh, and the wire itself, once it's wrapped around the handlebars, we put it in the pliers, and then we can lock the pliers, a bit like a pair of mill grips. And then there's a magic bit, and I'll show you the magic bit when we come to use it. But these are, hell, how much are these? They weren't cheap, actually. A bit cheaper in England, but they are, look. That's the part number, uh, and that's from Cycle Treads in Auckland. So yeah, 60 bucks, 5 bucks for the wire, $65. Hey, you might need that. Okay, right, we're going to head over to the bike and I've brought the infamous WR450F, the one that uh, I blasted around the South Island a few months ago, uh, into the workshop uh, because I want to put some, some wire onto the grips on those. So we'll head over to the bike and Sam can show you how to do it. Here we go. <clears throat> right, you, Sam, grab the pliers, the snippers, because we'll need those to cut down the put down the wire. Now, ideally, you can just do it a single wrap, but I always like to do two wraps, which obviously uses more wire, but you know, it's all good. Just need a bit more strength. And you want to leave about an inch tail to get the length right. So we're just going to measure that first of all. So Sam, can you, can you snip that for us? Because I don't have enough arms, arms for this job. Same yeah, length. same length as the other one, that's it. Cool. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Right. So we now know the length that we need. And we're going to need four of these because we get one here on the, on the grip, one here, and the same on the opposite side. It's always normally people fit, fit two. If you really need to, you can fit three or just one, whatever you want to do, really. But normally I'll fit two. Uh, not too near the edge, maybe 10, 15 mil in from each end. So I'm going to do one with you, Sam, and then you can do the rest on your own, I reckon, Sweet. being the professional that you are. I'm sure you've already done this before, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. Now you also want to bear in mind where the twizzly bit, the sharp bit, is going to end up. If you put your hand on the, gri on the grips, you really want that twizzly bit to be down the bottom, which is going to make it a nightmare for the camera. So we'll do it up at the top, just for the camera, but for you guys, when you actually put them on the bike, you want to make sure that the sharp bit's down the bottom, really sort of at the end of your fingertips, so there's no chance of it digging into your hand. Okay, here we go. Right, so around there, look. Back around on itself, and then we're just going to lock it off like that, just so it can't go anywhere. And then we can get the pliers on. There we go. Right, perfect. Okay, like I said, this bit here should normally be down the bottom, but we're just doing it at the top for the camera. Right, we need those magic pliers, Sam. So, yeah, well, you can do this bit. If you put the pliers on top and grip, grip this protruding bit of pair of wires about, I don't know, halfway along its length or just 
two thirds up. So you have the pliers vertical. No oh, like this, like that. Oh. Yeah, it's alright. Because we're doing it the opposite way around. Okay. So you want to go on about about there, because we need we need a bit of room for the twizzles, don't we? All right. So you give that a go, and then lock it off for us once you're in position. I'll do. Yeah, it's not rocket science. It's, it's, it's you know, we're only mechanics at the end of the day. You got it? Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're gonna have to pull that uh, that magic bit at the end, and as soon as you start pulling, let go of the pliers. So let go of the pliers. There you go. Give it a twizzle, all the way up. Cool. And once you've got to the extent of that, hold the pliers again, and then release that, and it'll spin back in again. There you go. And then repeat the process until you've got enough twizzles to hold that. Uh, so release your release that hand. Give it a twizzle, and then grip back on again. Release that one. Yeah, you need to be so ambidextrous, don't you? There you go. Cool. I think we've still got a bit of a gap, so you need to go again. A little bit. Yeah, maybe one more. And you don't want to overcook it because you can snap the wire. That's the only downside, so you be careful. Happy with that? Yeah. Cool. Okay. So you can release that one and then pull the ply pull the handles of the pliers back in. It'll it's spring loaded, so it should release. There you go. And we're done. Look at that. Bloody good. Most impressed. Good job, Sam. Right, so now we can't ride around with that sticking up, so we're going to have to shorten that down a bit, but we don't want to shorten it too much, otherwise, again, it could come undone. But you can see by using those pliers just how an even twizzle you get on the wire. It makes it a real neat job. And you can actually use these pliers for, for doing um, lock nuts and for wiring the, the sump plug and so on for, for racing and things too. Very, very useful. Right, Sam, we need the other pliers again now, the snippers. And I would say I'd probably leave about a 10 mil tail, so maybe 10 mil up from the bars, up from the grip, if you can snip it off for us. Ooh, a little bit higher, a bit higher, a bit higher. There you go, that'll do. It's going to fly off. Ping! There we go. There we go. <laughs> now, knows. there you go. Now, again, that's going to hurt, so we're going to have to bend that down. So what I tend to do is just, just grab your snippers again and use those just to fold it round onto the grip. There you go. Now remember, all of that is actually underneath. This is just on top of the camera. There we go, look. Brilliant job. Right, Sam, you've got some more to do now. And we've just used our template for length, so we're going to have to measure it over again, aren't we? Okay. Damn. Okay, there you go. See how there much you, you need. Go. So you can do what I did at the start. So you need to just un unravel. You know, unravel it a bit, because, <laughs> man, it's like an extension lead. Every one of my extension leads, the minute I wrap it up and put it on a, on a hook, it comes off and it's all tangled again. So that's exactly the same with that stuff, I think. And we'll go for another double wrap. So we'll do it down, down this end here, look. Well, yeah, you're only measuring that, yeah, that's all you're doing. So yeah, so you're going to go around once. That's it. You got it. Cool. And then we can slip off the length, can't we? So you want about, um, there you go. You need more than one arm, or two arms, don't you, really? Yeah. Right, so don't worry about the neatness too much, it's just the length we're worrying about at the moment, so... There we go, so we'll snip it off there. Oh, that's a bit long actually, it's too short on that, because it might run out. I don't know. There we go, look. Yeah, that should work. Okay, snip that one off. And we'll, we can do this one at the top as well, because it's just better for the camera. So I'll right. do... So we'll pull that, you know, pull that off then, we'll, if you can get two more lengths, because you'll need some more for the other side, won't you? Yeah. So if you can measure two more of those lengths off that wire, then we'll snip it. Get it in your eye. Like, that sends up in your eye. Whatever. Good job. Right. Okay. I must be going blind. I can hardly see that wire these days. Wow. Okay. So just where your fingers were. There we are. That's one. And then we need one more. Again, it's only approximate, but it just saves having that whole big, big bundle of wire with us, doesn't it? And we're doing the job. Cool. Sorted. Right. So we can get rid of that tangle. Look at that, you see, we're only, we've only used about half on one bite, so. <laughs> That's more, isn't it? Right, okay, let's do this one, Sam. I tell you what, it seems I've only got a little bit left, and I do want to have some wire on my grips, and I don't want to be stabbing my hand. We'll have to do this one from underneath. All right, so you can twizzle it round so that the, the two ends are down the bottom. Maybe I'll move the camera so we can get a different angle. Good job. I'll just try and get those. Trying to make things even. 
on both sides. Oh, the same length. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's important. Yeah, it's not the easiest. Cool. That's all right. Just try and keep them together. And then, let it twizzle. Or is it a bit short? Trying, yeah, maybe a bit short. Or it's just because it's not even. So whatever you want it. Cool. Okay. Right. So we're about ready for pliers again, aren't we now? So do you want to clamp your pliers on? Just you'll have to go right close to the end of that one, and then do your little, do your oh, little twizzle. Fancy pliers. Yeah, okay. we're on fancy pliers now. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, you're leaving about ten mil. That's it. That'll work. Get it clamped. You got it. Oh, almost. Oh, has it just dropped one of them? Try again. Okay. Yeah, there you go. No, no, it's not bad at all. It's just, it's just fiddly. Perfect. Right. So I'll just, I'll just tidy these up while you're tightening up, getting them to run together. There we are. Then what to do? Oh yeah, professional. You be getting a job doing this every day now. Sweet. <laughs> Done it once. Could you imagine how bro. boring it would be though to do this all day long? Oh, just the same thing every day. Yes, it'd be very yeah, boring, wouldn't it? Yeah, you get plenty good at it. Though, it'd be very tedious. Right, you've got to say oh. stop. Have we snapped it? I don't know. Oh, it's suddenly, okay, let's have a that look. That's really close. I think we're okay. Right, so you can take your pliers off. Definitely tight enough on that one. <laughs> Sorted. Right, so now we need the snippers. The side pieces we call those, and you can snip it down to so the red ones. I have them. Sorry. Right. So again, about ten mils. So I would say about about there to trim it. And always have your pliers perpendicular to your wire. So about like that, look. Okay. Mind your eyes. Ping. There we go. Look. Easy. Right. So it's going to be hand on there. So that's little fingers. We definitely want to push that back that way, and it's out of the way of my my little finger. And I need to stand. <laughs> Cool. Job done. Now again, we're going to have to do wire these, actually twizzle them up underneath. Yeah. Otherwise we're going to run out of wire, I think. Well, I'm sure the viewers will work it out. I don't mind. Doesn't bother me. Cool. You obviously do not realise that all women are in charge in this world. Yet. You'll come to learn that. Those men live in a terrible world. You got it? Yup. Oh, oh, that's a bit short on that side. Got it. Bloody professional. <laughs> it's when you stab yourself with a wire, then you realise. Yeah, I've stabbed myself with a compass, so I think that's a bit worse. Every time I go to reach into a pencil case, it stabs me. <laughs> Out of info. Looks pretty nice. good to me, yeah. Look at that. Got it sus, lass. Right, so we need to stick them down, so there's your I'll do your swap. I'll take the I'll take the posh ones. Give them a stroke for a while while you're doing that. Bloody good. No, no, like this. Look. So keep it, keep it closed, and you're just using that flat metal surface just to to push it back. Oh. Yeah, that's all it is. Just rather than use your finger because you might stab your finger doing it. There you go. Bloody good. And what will happen is with a bit of use, that will end up being dug into the bars yeah. and it'll be out of the way. You know, but it's not really that sharp. It's pretty good. You know, when you're riding, that's that's you know pretty much away from your fingers. It's, and you've got gloves on anyway, so it's not really an issue. Super. Right, one more to go, Sam. Look at that. Professional. This one is probably the best. Definitely. That's oh, it's so lining even. up. There's like... Well, you're yeah, not going to say, Sam, good. practice makes perfect, doesn't it? We're apparently doing it three times, and the fourth time's the charm.
keep going. A bit more of it. There's still a little gap at the top there, look. Okay, I see it now. On the yeah, thing. it's a bit hard to see from where you are. <gasps> we killed it! Oh no! Sam, what are we going to do? Do it again, I suppose. Damn it. <laughs> so close. Damn it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think we need to, when you're putting the clamp onto the wire, don't have the pliers too far down the little things because then it's turning way too many times before it's tight and then it's causing the wire yeah. to snap. Yeah. I think that's what's happening. That's it, turn the, turn the whole thing 180, otherwise your things will end up at the top again. Right, magic pliers. I've got to think of all, all different kinds of uses for these super pliers now. Especially at 60 bucks. Jeez, you want to make use of them, don't you? Yeah, they're pretty cool. That's it. About 10 mil down. Perfect. And lock it off. I think it's good that time. <laughs> I don't want to push it, it was scary. Cool. We'll call that one a fix. Right. There you go. So you've got two more steps to go. One is to snip it off, and the other one. To flick your flick your side cutters the other way around. That's it. So you so you can see the blade and then you can accurately know where you're cutting. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there we go. Right. Okay. And then use that side. Yeah, hey, look at that. You know, I reckon, as I've been doing my travels around the South Island in the last couple of weeks, I've been away on the road. I did 4,000 kilometres in a week driving. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was pretty tired. Um, there's loads of bike shops out there that are desperate for techs, for mechanics, for bike mechanics. Huh. And I reckon you're going to get lots and lots of requests after this. After they've seen you do this and prove your skill level and how quickly you can learn, I'm pretty sure they're going to be sending you comments saying, come on, Sam. Come and help us fix our bikes. Come work for us. Come work for us, definitely. Well done. Easy, wasn't it? It was pretty, yeah. pretty cool. Right, come on, Sam, let's do a sign off. Oh man, I really need a haircut. Okay. You got enough of the screen there? There you go, that's more like it. Cool. Okay, so you can see just how simple it is to wire bar grips. And the same. Shit, Sam, you need to bring the pliers. Bring me the pliers, quick. I get the staff these days. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, boss. Right. So these twist group, these twist wire twist pliers, what are you going to call them? What do they call them? Safety wire twisters. Probably a Chinese name. Sorry. Right. Um, yes. Very, very useful. Uh, and not just for doing the wire on your, on your grips, on your handlebars either. You can use them for all sorts of stuff. And I think a lot of the racing lads that do, do track days and stuff will you know, have to wire the sump plugs and wire all sorts of stuff on the bike to guarantee that the bolts don't come loose when they're actually, you know, terracing around the track trying to beat the guy in front. Um, and these, these sort of pliers really make the job very, very simple and quick. And it's all about being simple and quick these days because none of us have enough time. So, Sam, how did you find it? Good fun? Pretty easy after doing it a couple of times. Yeah, you still got the hang of it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. good stuff. Okay, well, if you've... Shit. If you, <laughs> if you found the video helpful, then why not subscribe to the channel? Should you do this or should I do this? Up there somewhere, I think isn't it? It's, like it's, it's just. Here. Yeah, it's behind my. There you are, look, it's there. In a box. Box, cool. There you are, you could be the box. Okay, there we are. Um, subscribe to the channel and you'll see a little gear icon pop up on the screen once you've clicked the subscribe button. Uh, click on the gear icon and then you'll see another box that you can tick. And our friends down at YouTube, and they are good friends, um, will send you an email once they get out of bed. Uh, telling you that I've uploaded a new video and this one obviously and maybe the next one who knows will have Sam in it Which is really cool big help actually makes it a lot more fun And it's all about the fun isn't it? Um, you'll also find me on Facebook Instagram Google Plus and Twitter feel free to uh, communicate through any of those portals However, I would like it if you could use the comments section on YouTube as a first point of contact 
Because let's face it, that's where the videos are and that's where people uh, you know, go to look at the comments and see if their question has already been answered. Good stuff. Okay, so you fancy coming down again sometime and give me a hand? Yep. Easy. Cool. Yeah, I reckon so. And you've got a problem with your car at the moment, haven't you? Yeah, well, What's the, wrong with it? the shock is leaking and I don't know what that means. So. Oh, it needs the oil to stay inside the shock. Okay. Otherwise it will get real bouncy on the road. So That's which, not which, good with travel. <laughs> which corner is it? Left. Front or back? Back. Left rear. And what kind of car is it? Ford. Ford what? Ford Festiva, what year? 97. Okay, 1997 Ford Festiva, left rear shock. Anyone got one out there? Sam needs it right now. There you are, fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Over and out.